you can include components in your deployment diagrams. And this is helpful because artifacts implement components. UML calls this relationship in which an artifact implements another UML element, such as a component, a manifestation. By the way, this relationship was called an implementation in UML1, but if you want to show that you're up to speed with UML2, call it a manifestation. So to show that an artifact manifests a component or another UML element, connect them with a dependency arrow, the dotted line arrow with the open arrowhead, and that dependency arrow is stereotyped manifest and it points from the artifact back to the component that it implements, that it manifests. So here's an example of what that might look like in a portion of your UML diagram. Let's say you have a node that's a web server. And within that web server, you have a component that is database manager and implementing or manifesting the database manager is an artifact called database manager dot dll so this artifact this dynamic link library implements or manifests this component and it does so within this node, the web server. So we'll move our artifacts into our web server. Make sure it's big enough to hold them. And then we use our manifest dependency arrow to point from the artifact back to the component that it manifests. So you can see there that the relationship is very clear. This node hosts this component which is implemented or manifested by this artifact. Now you might notice here that the name of the artifact matches the name of the component. It matches the name of the element that it manifests. These names don't have to match up in that way, but you'll find that often they're very similar. 